For me, when it comes to songwriting, it, it's a lot like cooking. I'm doing a uh, variation of a BLT. It's a um, substitute the bacon for chicken skin. You know, you know, put like herbs, salt, pepper, and paprika on them. It's always been a thing for me where I never really forced anything. I only did it whenever I enjoyed it, and um, I enjoy cooking almost more than songwriting. So every time I write songs, I try to remember. Try to treat it as like I'm, I'm cooking, you know, don't come with any ingredients necessarily, just, just cook, enjoy it, and see what people think about it. Well, I'm a folk singer, songwriter. I grew up in Karenka, Louisiana, and I live in Lafayette, Louisiana now. Um, I write songs that I, I put a lot of energy into imagery, um, telling stories. Sitting at my house, staring out the window At an old tin shed across the road and There were tears in his eyes Forming rust on his face and gray on his cheeks What inspires me to write songs? Um, a lot of songs kind of come to me out of the blue, you know? I don't, I don't sit down writing and working on songs for too long. If it's not there, it's not there. There's always something that you, you're kind of unaware of, but you have to be aware to catch it. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I've only written a couple songs where the lyrics came first and then the music took forever to come around to. But usually it's a, it's, it's, it's a one-liner. Uh, one of my favorite songwriters, he, um, he's got a really good habit. He takes uh, post-it notes and he writes these one-liners and sticks them on the walls of his house. Whenever he walk by, he'll read it, and then something will come about it. But that's kind of the way I write too. I don't. I, I find this one line that kind of comes about, and then the music will kind of build around, and then the lyrics kind of work its way outward. For me, when it comes to songwriting, it, it's a lot like cooking. I, I never like to come up with this huge recipe or anything and uh, seek out sometimes like it would just hit me and I'll get up and go to the store with like actually nothing no list or anything just kind of find stuff and figure out what I'm gonna cook while I'm there and I'll bring it back and um, I enjoy it you know I'll stop what I'm doing and cook with uh, really no idea of knowing what's gonna come out it's just gonna be what it is and you sit down and I like the how you share it with people and people eat it and they enjoy it and, they remember it, and I think that's a lot like songwriting to me, you know. You put songs together, you get people to, to listen to it, and then hopefully they don't think you're a bad cook <laughs> or a songwriter. My name is Sean Bruce, and I have a new record coming out called Staring at Maps Part 2.